Now let's look at uh, why risk management is important for consumer lending. Uh, we can look at uh, the credit card banks in the US. Uh, this is the chart from uh, the Federal Reserve. Uh, they look at the um, return on asset uh, or profitability of credit card banks uh, from 2001 all the way to uh, 2019. Uh, and also the graph also shows the uh, credit loss rate uh, for the same banks. So the return on asset means uh, how much money uh, the banks earn on assets. Assets here means loan. Uh, this is the uh, bar chart. Okay, so for example, if the banks uh, extend the $100 loan, uh, they earn $4 profit. Uh, that the return on asset is $4 divided by $100. That's uh, roughly 4%. Uh, that's exactly what's happening. You can see in the last uh, about uh, nine years also after the financial crisis, uh, all the bars are around uh, 4%. Uh, then the line chart uh, is the loss rate. Uh, loss rate similarly is based on the credit loss divided by uh, average asset or average loans. For example, uh, the bank extends $100 loan, uh, there are $4 that uh, it cannot collect. Uh, the consumer goes to default. So the loss rate is a $4 loss rate, uh, $4 loss divided by $100 asset. Uh, that's 4%. Uh, yeah, that's the level the industry has seen uh, in the last about eight, nine years uh, after the financial crisis. So what does this mean? So this means the loss rate will impact the profitability if the 4% loss rate becomes 5%, then your return will drop from 4% to 3%. That's 25% reduction. Okay, let's go to extreme. If your loss rate doubles from 4% to 8%, then your return on asset becomes zero, right? Uh, that's exactly what happened uh, in the 2008 financial crisis. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the loss rate uh, actually more than doubled. Uh, that caused the uh, profitability or return of a credit card business quickly goes down, going to negative in 2009 then slowly comes back. Uh, so this example shows that uh, the risk management is very important. Uh, there is not a lot of profit margin to go wrong. Uh, if your business model project a 4% loss rate, if you miscalculate that, extend it to consumers who cannot pay it back, uh, such as the uh, subprime customers, uh, for mortgage business, uh, then your loss rate will be a lot higher. Uh, then your bank is not profitable. Uh, in the worst case, there are some banks and they go under, right? So they need a bailout or uh, they just uh, got uh, acquired uh, with a very low uh, values uh, by some other uh, bigger banks. Okay, so this concludes uh, this section. Uh, what's the three business pillars of a typical bank? Uh, how does consumer lending and the risk management uh, fit in?